ChatGPT wrote me two nifty WordPress plugins I think you may also find useful. And in this video I'm gonna share those plugins with you. The links to the plugins are in the video description, so be sure to take a look at it. But now, let's dive in. Now, first plugin I needed the AI to write should work like this. I'm gonna describe the problem for me. That is, currently, if I need to delete this plugin here or this plugin here, I first need to deactivate those, and then I need to, once again, select those and delete. For me, it's a bit cumbersome. So I needed a solution which works in a way that there is a deactivate and delete button, or I can bulk select them and there is a bulk action button, deactivate and delete. If I click on apply, it will deactivate and delete, which means I can skip a couple of clicks. Now I opened up the chat GPT and there is a GPT called prompt select. I describe my problem that is currently deactivation and deletion works in a way that it sucks. I said I need a WordPress plugin that adds the option deactivate and delete and told it to write me this plugin. So this GPT perfect wrote me a better prompt, this one here, and then it wrote me a plugin with all the comments here, as you see. Now I tested it and I found that it works, but uh, the bulk action menu option is missing. And I told it to also add this option. AI did this once again, wrote me a code, gave me a full updated plugin code, which for me meant that I needed to create a folder called deactivate and delete. Inside this one, I created a file, pasted the code, went and activated the plugin, and it works like a charm. For example, I can deactivate and delete this plugin here, or I can do it from the bulk actions menu, as I showed you before. Altogether, with the prompting and copying and pasting the code, it took me approximately 10 to 15 minutes to make it work. I was mighty impressed, and therefore I decided to write another prompt with another task. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. And this time the plugin is a bit more complicated. I said that I need a WordPress plugin called Navigation Menu Adder and this plugin should add an option in the page editing meta box to directly add the page to the WordPress navigation menu. What does it mean is that I told it to add a meta box here so I can choose the menu. I can add the page to the menu, reorder the position and on top of it all, I can delete the menus if needed. So, I wrote a thorough prompt with the plugin features I needed to add. That is, add to option menu, add to menu button, drag and drop functionality, hierarchy, visibility, save menu item position. And I also told that that separate files can be created if needed. And I told to follow WordPress coding standards and best practices. So it gave me a code which almost worked, but there were some issues with adding submenus with drag and drop. I told it that I can't nest the added item and told it to add a delete menu items option with X icon. It gave me another version, that one added the deleting option, but nested submenus didn't work. Then I told it maybe you can suggest any other method, maybe like this. I select the menu item from the fetched items and if I click add to menu button, the page will be added as a submenu for it. Then it gave me another code which worked well and for me it meant that I needed to create a new folder, page to navigation menu adder, inside it two additional folders CSS and JS. Inside the CSS folder, one file, which contained this code here. Inside the JS folder, I added this code, that is this file, with the code I showed you before. And there is also one PHP file, which contains this code. And now how does it work? If I add a page, for example, demo page, I can choose a menu, whether it's footer menu, footer middle menu, or main menu, it depends on how many menus do I have. If I add it to the menu, it says it's added, it's here. I can rearrange the position 
or maybe here I can delete it or I can choose it to be a sub menu for the gallery page not to menu done if I publish it you'll see there is my demo page now I can delete it update it refresh it and done for me it's a nifty feature because if I create new pages then now I can add all the pages directly to the menus after creating those and it saves me a lot of time now if you would like to download the plugins then I'm gonna put the link to the blog post that contains those plugins for example page to navigation menu adder just click on this download plugin button the same goes with a deactivate and delete plugin there is a download plugin button here now this is only one way to customize your wordpress site but i have made a separate video about how to customize your woocommerce checkout page without the plugin and i'm gonna display you 26 useful hacks this video is on the screen right now so be sure to take a look at it next in the meantime take care